Well, you keep in mind that animals start coming in today and they've traveled from home. This is a different environment for them. Uh, and we just want to make sure they're healthy and made the trip okay. We're looking for any respiratory problems they might have, uh, anything that might be contagious like uh, sore feet or uh, animals get something called ringworm and this type of thing that uh, uh, some exhibitors may not be familiar with, but it could be contagious to other animals. And with the close environment here at the fairgrounds, why we can't have anything sick here because it would spread to the others. Now we've also checked these animals over the past three or four weeks at home to make sure everything's healthy at home as well. So if there's any problems at home, uh, as far as sickness or lameness or anything like that that might be contagious to other animals, why well, we just advise them not to bring them to the fair. Say you did find an animal that was sick, what, what exactly would you do? Uh, very simply, it goes back home. And it, uh, then they, we tell them to consult their own veterinarian to, to get it taken care of. But from time to time, an animal may have a respiratory problem or the, uh, as I said, with the heat, and uh, it's just fi fine, it's better to send them back home to uh, recover. Certainly agriculture is the, the backbone of the fair, no doubt, and in different surveys we've done over the years, one of the main things people like to see is the animals. So, and we have an outstanding uh, youth participation here at the fair through 4-H and FFA, probably one of the best in the country. And with the facilities we have, well, we certainly want to encourage that to, to continue.